More than a month and a half into the nation's vaccination rollout, roughly one in three Americans still say they probably won't get the shot. This is according to a poll from the Associated Press in which many people express doubts about safety and effectiveness. Now, among those waiting for more research, a former waitress from Brooklyn who says that her uncertainty cost her her job. Tonight, she explained her reasoning to News 4's Jackie Beckford in a story you'll see only on 4. Now, to be clear, Bonnie Jacobson says she is not an anti-vaxxer. She believes in the vaccine, but that she's trying to have a child. It's been delayed for a year now because of the pandemic, and she's worried that getting the vaccine could delay her hopes of having children even longer. We we're planning on starting to try to have children in August. But when she got laid off, those plans were put on hold. So when her current employer, Red Hook Tavern, asked her a week ago if she planned to get the vaccine, now extended to restaurant workers. I do have my reservations about it. Um, just like, you know, I need to talk to a doctor and just see how I feel. Jacobson, a waitress, says she was initially told it wasn't mandatory, but the restaurant changed course, telling her in an email Monday they respected her decision, but we have implemented this policy to maintain a safe working environment and that getting the vaccine is required. At this time, your employment will be terminated. And I was just like, wow, <laughs> really? Like, I just worked for you through a pandemic. But Jacobson's firing appears to be legal. Companies can fire you for not getting the vaccine. This particular subject is a really hot topic right now. I haven't heard of a company taking that extreme step. Employment attorney Felicia Ennis says the EEO makes it clear termination should be a last resort. Before you terminate anybody, you have to really be able to show why that particular person is going to pose a significant or they call it a direct threat. According to the CDC, the vaccine is generally viewed as safe, but the agency says getting vaccinated is a personal choice for people who are pregnant and that the actual risks of mRNA vaccines to the pregnant person and her fetus are unknown because these vaccines have not been studied in pregnant women. It's already been postponed. I would hate for something to happen and we get the vaccine and then have to hold off a few more years. We reached out to Red Hook Tavern. The owner recovering from surgery told us he had nothing to say tonight but would be happy to speak with us Wednesday. I'm not out for a big lawsuit. I'm not out for money. Um, just also want to make that clear. It's just I think it's an important story. And Jacobson says this is not about getting her job back. She no longer wants to work here, she says, after being let go. In Red Hook, Chucky Beckford, News 4, New York.